just posted up in a Starbucks for about two hours to work on some footage and to get hold of my friend who lives in Seattle. And I told him two days ago I was coming through, but he is missing in action. I don't know where he's at. This is weird. Oh, I'm at a Starbucks, but there's a Starbucks across the street. But it's it's in a Safeway supermarket, so I guess that's a little bit different. Check out these clouds. That is pretty scenic. I did an express deal on a website for this hotel, and it doesn't tell you what hotel you're going to stay at. It just mentions you're going to be at one of like six, and they choose, and they gave me like the cheapest one. Here's my door. I'm going to pull it as tight as I can. And uh, who needs a key when you can just do that? The lock on my door does not work at all in this room. What if I was sleeping in the middle of the night and somebody just kicked my door in? Just in the nick of time, my buddy Eric, aka Salty, gives me a call up five minutes before checkout. I just got out of the shower. I'm excited the boy called me up because it would be tragic if I didn't get to visit him here. Everybody else he knows is located on the East Coast. I'm wearing tie-up pants. They keep falling off me, so I'm going to tie these up. There. Quite ridiculous trying to wheel stuff out of the hotel and throw it in your trunk when your pants are falling down. Super excited about Salty calling me up. I thought I was going to miss him altogether. Or I thought maybe there was something I did in my distant high school past that pissed him off and maybe he didn't want to talk to me after all these years. But no, definitely not the case. He just screwed the pooch and turned his phone off. All right, time to find a Starbucks. Good news is I'm in Seattle. I could probably throw a rock and hit one in any direction. 